Are you a Christian and you have a side chick? A man once said, I love my wife and I will not let anything separate us. I can never allow her to suffer financially. No one must insult her. She means the world to me. But sorry, I also have this side chick. She's special and I'm going to keep her even though my wife is number one. That man doesn't realize that he's deceiving himself because having a side chick immediately cancels all the love and respect that he thinks he has for his wife. While I was thinking about this story, it crossed my mind that this behavior also happens with Christians too sometimes. We declare that God is number one and is most important in our lives and we confess that we love him but then we have these other pet issues on the side that we don't want to let go. Things like lying, disobedience, gossip, bribery and corruption, malice, indecent dressing, pornography, drunkenness, uncontrolled anger. These habits are like a side chick that we hold on to even though we profess our love for God. So just a little bit of advice. If you love God, then all the other things that God doesn't want, they have to go because God has called us to a life of holiness.